Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation of Ethernet framing. As we know, when two computers connect together with the Ethernet, then they will send data to and forward between them. And uh, the format of the data should follow some rules. Okay, this rule is defined by IEEE. Okay, uh, also is known as the IEEE. 802 standard. Okay. And uh, in this chapter, we will explain the reference models of the network. Okay. There are many different reference models, and uh, we discuss some of them. And uh, then we will discuss the Ethernet frame, the format of the Ethernet frame, and uh, then explain the MAC addressing the layer two address in the reference model. And then, how the Ethernet use the media to access the media, to share the media between different computers. Okay. And then first, uh, about the reference models. As we know, there are different network reference models. Okay, first, this is a TCP IP. Yeah, TCP IP is itself, it's a protocol suit, but it's also the reference models. And another is the well-known OSI reference models. Okay, and uh, other companies, okay, also developed some other protocols, such as the Novell company developed IPX and uh, SPX. Okay, uh, this protocol, uh, sometimes, I think about uh, 20 years ago, is used widely. Is used widely in the, our LAN network. Okay, in uh, IBM also developed a network architecture we called SNA. Okay, in uh, all these reference models, usually is defined the upper layer protocols. Okay, and the physical layer, the bottom layer, is usually use the same. Okay, not this. The standard for the physical layers, uh, for the bottom layers, there's two types, LANs and the WANs. LAN means the local area network. The WAN means the wide area network. The LANs uh, is the network located to a uh, to a narrow area, okay, in the campus, in the campus, okay, in the wide area usually uh, can extend to a long distance, uh, about uh, some kilometers to thousand of kilometers far away, okay, and the land, the land standard usually is specified by the IEEE, okay, IEEE, these organizations, of course. Under the IEEE, there's an office we call 802. They specify the many standard about the lens. Okay, in the, the ones, nowadays, we usually use Ethernet. Of course, Ethernet uh, is also the LAN, the LAN standard. In the, nowadays, Ethernet also has the WAN standard. Okay, in the, the PVP, and the HDLC nowadays are also used for the WAN connections. Okay. Then, first, we refer to the TCP IP reference model. Okay. The TCP IP protocol nowadays is most widely used in our network. And the, the TCP IP reference model is divided network into four layers. Four layers. On the Upper layer at the top is the application layer. The application layer just uh, the presentation of the applications, such as the pictures, the videos, uh, the voice that inter interconnect interact with the people. Okay, and then the TCP/IP protocol. Yeah, it's in the transport layer and the network layer. The transport layer is to confirm 
the communication between two hosts between two hosts is reliable. That means no packet will be dropped. And if the packet is lost when transmitting, then the transport layer will compensate, will repair it. Okay, this is the transport layer. Of course, the transport layer is the well-known protocol is the TCP, okay, the TCP, okay. And then the network layer. The network layer, the protocol is IP. The network layer is to deal with the path, the path selection. That means the communication is between two computers, but in this, between these two computers, there is a network. So the packet should follow in certain path and then reach to the destination, okay? So the IP layer, the network layer, IP protocol, just deal with this. Which path should be choose? Okay. And then the Ethernet, this is the network interface layer. This network interface layer just how deal with the how the IP protocols to use the physical medias, use the physical medias. Between each two devices, the computer, the host to the router, and the router between router and the, the two router, and then there's a physical media. Then how to use this media, how to modulate the signals, and then send it to the by the physical media to reach the next hop. Okay, this is the function of the network interface layer. Okay, this is the TCP IP layer the model. And uh, the most detailed model also is the most widely no reference model is the ISOs, ISO, the International Standard Organization's OSI model. Okay, the OSI means Open System Interconnection. Okay, that's the model divide the network function into seven layers. One, two, seven, one, two, three, and then the seven, okay, seven layers. And uh, this reference model divides the function in between different, different layers. Okay, first we can see the physical layer. In the physical layer, just the physical device, the lines, the medias, the network interface card, and uh, these hardware and the connectors and so on. Okay, this is the physical layer. And then the signals sending on the physical layer, it's the bit string, okay, bit string. It's just deal with the signals, okay, deal with signals, the voltage levels and so on. Okay, and the second layer is the data link layer. Then data link layer, in the data link layer, they are beginning to have the structure of the data. The data have structures. This data we call RAM. RAM. And then, in this, this layer, the frame have the address to choose the destination. Okay, and uh, of course, also, they very but a media, how to use the how to use the media, developed a mechanism, how to use the media. Okay, and then the third level is the network layer. Then network layer, in the network layer, the data we call packet, packet. In this layer, just deal with the path selection. Okay, use the addressing and Routing, yeah, just the choose the route, the best path to the destination. Okay, then transport layer. The transport layer, the data sending in the transport layer, we call the segment. Okay, segment. And then in this layer, just to confirm the transmission of the data is reliable. That means no packet is lost.
Okay, if there's a packet dropped uh, between the two communication devices, then this transport layer will repair it, will repair it, will resend the packet. Okay, and then the session layer, the session layer to manage manage the sessions. Okay, each each communication, not only one packet. Okay, there are many packets. This many packet just form the one session. Okay, and then the presentation layer, the presentation layer just to coding, just to coding, the coding encryption or decryption and the data formatting. That means, for example, uh, what's the, our people, our C in the computer, that's a picture, that's a video, but in the computer's storage, or the sending of the data. It's not a picture, it's the data, okay, it's the data. So the picture, usually we know the pictures format such as the JPG, okay, JPG, and uh, such as the BMP, BMP, JPG, okay. Okay, that's the format of the data. Okay, this is the function of the presentation layer. Okay, of course, what we see is the picture, and then in the computer, it's the data, okay. And then the application layer. Application layer just to show the results, okay, just to show the results, okay. And uh, this is the seven layers, each layer the function, okay. Uh, and uh, of course, the OSI model is most widely known, and uh, there is some relationship between OSI model and the TCP/IP model. In the TCP/IP model, there are four layers. So, this three layer in the TCP/IP model, it's application layer, and then the transport layer, and the this is the TCP, and uh, this is IP, the network layer, and then the at the Bottom two layer is the network interface layer. Okay. Okay. This is the OSI layer the model. Okay. Here is the encapsulation of the data. Okay. That means what we see, for example, uh, we processing the data from the seven layer to the layer one. Okay. The people just using the data at the seven layer to see the picture, to see the video. And then, this is the data. And then, when the data wants to send it to the other side, that's to the another computers, then the data first should be coding to a, to a data that can be, can be sent, okay? And then, in the session layer for my session, all this layer, the data is the same, okay, the data. And then the transport layer, yeah, this is the segment. On this, this three upper layer, it's all data, all data. And then on the transport layer to form the segment, segment. Okay, in the segment, the computer, we are adding a header, adding a header. Uh, this header, of course, have the function that to confirm that no package. Of course, the, when the data is sending, not only one package, there's a series of packets, many packets. So you should make sure that no packet is lost. Okay, in the header, there's a serial number and so on. Okay, this is a segment, and then, the network layer. The network layer is a packet. We will choose the best path to the destination. Okay, so the destination should be identified on this header. Okay, that's a network also as a header. And on, on this network header, they contain the destination's address and the source address and so on. So, there's IP address on this header. 
Okay, and then this packet should be sending to the media. Okay, so the network interface layer, the data link layer, should still adding another header and the trailer. The trailer used to frame check to check if there is some error happened when sending between two devices. And this header also to, to decide the destination, who should receive this frame, okay? And uh, then the physical layer, just change the data into the signals, the voltage, the high level or the low level voltage, okay? This is the encapsulation process. Of course, when the data reaching the receiver, then the receiver gets the signals and then first sending to the second layer. Okay, the second layer first check if the data there are some arrows. If there's no arrows, then decide who should receive. If it's me, I should receive, then receive it, and then this two is stripped and then sending to the upper layer. And then using the destination IP address to decide if I should receive, then receive, and then sending to transport layer. Okay, then step by step sending to upper layer and then show you, show the user, okay, the appearance, for example, the pictures.